How long can I hold a grudge? Is this a question of strength, like how long can you hold a bucket of water? Is it a question of time, literally how long in days and weeks and years? Is it a question of distance? How far away from this person do I need to be before it doesn't matter anymore? In our everyday lives, it's probably all three of these. A grudge can be significantly heavy thing to have to carry and the pain of it can last for years and even decades. If I get closer to certain things or places and especially the person themselves, the grudge can become longer and heavier. So it is perhaps really a question of my inner strength. I need to be strong inside in order to hold on to this grudge. Give me a few minutes to explore this, beginning with these early days of spring and including this torch along the way. I'm filming this episode of Sideways early in the year and it's easier to notice the days are getting longer and brighter. For many people, these longer and brighter days mean brighter and happier days. Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD, SAD, probably affects more people than is recognised and studies have suggested anywhere between 1 in 10 and 1 in 3 people. For us living in the UK, it's not uncommon to hear people longing for a holiday and to get, to get away for some sun. This is probably not just about the heat, but also the light. Spring is just around the corner and with it an abundance of life in our garden, our green spaces and our hedgerows. We also often feel like we have more life to us in the brighter days of spring and summer. If these observations are true, then what does it mean to say that God is light? Light has often been used to describe the divine. For Christians, then Christmas is all about the light. For the people in darkness have seen a great light. The true light which enlightens everyone is coming into the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. I am the light of the world, says Jesus. God is light, and in him there is no darkness. We use light in churches in all kinds of ways. Candles perhaps being the most obvious, as symbols to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Does it follow then that being with God is like being in the summer sun? Perhaps not. Christians are just as likely to struggle with depression, seasonal affective disorder and grumpiness as anyone else. You'll also find a few grudges. There's another way to think about light though, or perhaps the most obvious way to think about light. Light helps us to see. When I need to look closely at something, I move into a brighter room in the house. Our bathroom has the best lighting and if I need to pull out a splinter, that is where I go in order to see clearly what I am doing. When I go outside in the evening to call the dog in and close the gate, I take this torch Using it, I can see what I'm doing. The light helps me to see. If God is light, if Jesus is the light of the world, how does this help me to see? It simply means I see the way God sees. With this light, with God's light, I can see situations and circumstances, and mostly people, the way that God sees them. This light of God, 
the light that Jesus brings into the world enables me, us, to see more clearly what's really going on. With this light I can see the grudge for what it most likely is. My own ego, me wanting or thinking I'm bigger than someone else, me wanting my way regardless of anything or anyone else, my own needs being more important than anyone else's, my hurt and pain more significant than someone else's hurt and pain. The grudge that I am carrying, the one that causes the pain and the hurt, the one that slows me down and affects everything else I do. How does this look in the light that God brings? I begin to see the person who caused this grudge is probably hurting as much as I am in different ways, carrying their own grudges. I begin to see that my role in this is just as destructive and painful as theirs. I begin to see what the grudge is. It is darkness. Perhaps you don't see it. Perhaps what I'm saying is just too fanciful. Perhaps the light is not bright enough to see anything by. Sadly, I think this is true for many people. The darkness is clear and there is barely any light. What is also true is if you spend some time looking at the light, your eyes adjust and you begin to see things you hadn't seen before. How long can I hold a grudge? I don't need to hold it. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. In the light I see that I am as much part of the cause of this grudge as anyone else. In the light I see that my place is not to judge, lest I be judged too. To show grace, for that is what I need too. To offer forgiveness, because I have known and need forgiveness myself. In the light I see life and the burden is light. In the darkness I just see heaviness, sadness, distance, drudgery and ultimately no life, a lack of life, lifelessness. Choose light, spend time in the light, let your eyes and heart adjust to the light, let the light shine on you, in you and through you so that you can see life in all its fullness.